Hi, I'm Dr. Devin Schrader, and welcome to the Center for Meteorite Studies at Arizona State University. At ASU, we have one of the largest meteorite collections in the world. Now here we have over 2,000 different meteorites, consisting of 40,000 different specimens. Some meteorites are just found as a single piece, and other meteorites uh, consist of many different pieces that all fall at once. There's three major different types of meteorites. We have uh, stony meteorites, we have iron meteorites, and then we have stony iron meteorites. I'll talk a little bit about uh, each of those and what we can learn. Uh, personally, I study uh, stony meteorites, primarily chondrites. Uh, as you can see here, this is the Allende meteorite. And this sample is quite spectacular because it actually it was a observed fall in 1969. And this sample in particular still has mud and grass attached to it. Now, if we uh, look on the inside of it, and we cut and polish uh, the sample to look in the inside, and this is what uh, the interior of that meteorite looks like. It consists of chondrules, the little round objects, calcium aluminum rich inclusions, the kind of the white large things, and then fine grain matrix. And these are really fascinating to study because studying uh, chondrites, we can learn about the very earliest stages of the protoplanetary disk. So the calcium aluminum rich inclusions are the oldest solids from the solar system. The chondrules formed afterwards. And then the matrix, uh, the fine grain matrix in between them didn't really alter. Uh, so we can learn a substantial amount at the very beginning of the solar system by studying chondrites. Uh, by studying iron meteorites, we can learn about massive collisions between asteroids. And the massive collisions we think in some cases of iron meteorites actually melted uh, all the material and then it pooled together to make um, some pools of iron, which represents iron meteorites. And other iron meteorites we think come, represent asteroidal cores. So large asteroids that formed early in the solar system and melted to make uh, iron nickel metal cores. So we can learn about early stages of differentiation. By studying stony iron meteorites, we can also learn about early stages of differentiation and collisions between asteroids, because these may represent uh, the core mental boundary of early asteroids. So the, the shiny is the iron nickel metal, and the uh, kind of greenish uh, rocky material there is actually olivine and iron magnesium silicate. We also have samples that come from completely melted asteroids and actually some uh, planets. So we can learn about um, large scale melting and planetary formation. Here we have Shugati, the meteorite from Mars. And there's another meteorite from Mars. And here's another meteorite from Mars. We also have meteorites uh, from the moon, such as this one right here, Northwest Africa 5000. So by studying meteorites, we can learn about the very beginning of the solar system, how the material in the solar system heated, melted and evolved, and how planets formed. So they provide a wealth of information setting the very beginning of the solar system to present day. Thank you very much.